Hey guys, Ben and I are starting our several day voyage out to Silver Bay, Minnesota. So I'm at the helm right now. I'll turn on the window. It's pretty much we'll not see land for a little while. It'll only take us maybe five, six hours to get there. Ooh, the wind feels good. We are going to tuck back into this little bay here, Cove. Hopefully it works as a halfway decent anchorage for us. Because if we kept sailing with the sporadic winds that we've been getting, we'd probably get there to butt. Oh, I don't know, 11 <laughs> o'clock at night. Way past dark anyhow. Probably more like 3 a.m. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, they've been sporadic. We were making six knots, but we are headed that direction in the morning. Right now we're at 2.4 knots. Stacy has cooked up some good grub. We've got some chicken, black bean wraps coming up, and then we ended up picking up a Asian salad. Yum yum. And such a beautiful pretty anchorage. We are still on sand. We decided to come explore. <laughs> Got lots of sand up here. Big old rock up there too. Look how clear the water is. Oh yeah, here. The ripples are. Can you see through the water? Oh yeah, you can see through the water. Those are the ripples of the sand. There's our boat. Just a little bit of swell coming in from the north. The winds out of the east. So we should be pretty protected right here. I'm gonna check out, we got some cool stairs up there too. Let's see what that's all about. These islands do have bear on them but we have only seen tracks on one island in our adventures up here so far. No? Yeah. Kind of what trails look like. And then they get a little narrower and some of them are more defined and some of them, well, yeah, we've been on a trail that we couldn't even find out where the trail went. It just kind of disappeared. Why don't you try that again? <laughs> okay, after a very brief tutorial on skipping stones, Stacy wants to redeem herself here. She's picked a much better stone. She's ready. Okay, here we go. Three. Well, it is Saturday morning. I think this is May 23rd. And a couple of fishing boats out there. We woke up and had a beautiful night's sleep. Ended up putting a stern anchor on the back of the boat so that we didn't catch the swell sideways. And decided for one more kayak trip come see the lighthouse. I wouldn't use the stairs though. They're a bit on the sketchy side. Anyway, 
It's our 360 degree view for the day. Back around to the fishing boats. Well, we are about, I don't know, I would guess we're about halfway across. Not exactly sure. Stacy's doing some studying, ironically, of sailing. <laughs> Writing down her notes. But there is where we are headed to. I don't know if you can see that. Way over there. That's where we're going. And a towel drying in the wind. We came from way back yonder. We had to sail with our old head sail because our new one is still getting it's still getting uh warranty work done getting back to us it wasn't quite right but just a beautiful day here lake superior waves are just very minimal one foot not even probably got a five to seven mile an hour breeze and we are trucking along with the winds as they are and the waves as they are, we have been able to balance the sails, lock off the steering, and keep our heading right about that 325, which should put us to Silver Bay, Minnesota. But it has been fun just to let the boat do its thing. Anyway, pretty light winds today. But no one is steering. The boat's still tugging along the kayak. Here we are, <laughs> sailing to Silver Bay. It's 41 degrees right now. The uh, weather channel says it feels like 35. Yes, it does. I am freezing. Ben here. Is I just put my hood up. Yeah, he's in shorts though. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to warm up though. It's a beautiful day for sailing. It is beautiful and we're getting close. And I the sun was out over there. earlier and that was nice. Over the cove, but ready for some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> we are anchored on the north shore just south of Silver Bay. Not in an ideal location. We probably will go back that direction for the evening, but we aren't sure where we're gonna spot. We got a couple of possibilities. It was a beautiful sail over. A little sketchy right there at the end. We thought we had a good cove to come into and bumped the ground, ground and there were rocks and it wasn't all that fun, but hey. We're good, we got something to eat. I'm ready to go get some ice cream. Okay. Go try to find some ice cream. And it is way colder on the water, I am. It's one, two, three layers. Uh, so it's nice to enjoy the sunshine. Only a few seconds later, and what did we find? What? Waterfall. That is so cool. It's just beautiful. I got yum, mine. Yum. Mm, <laughs> good stuff. It is just pretty morning. 
calm, it's peaceful. Seagulls. Anyway, give me a second, let me let me flip this camera around. Okay. I'm gonna flip the camera around. And this is where we are parked today. And as the weatherman predicted, it was supposed to be calm. And it is. This is Beaver Bay, just south of Silver Bay, Minnesota. That is a rock out there. Just barely over the surface. And that rock there has lots and lots and lots of seals in it. Now we're going to head north, which is that direction. Go we'll see if we can check out a waterfall this morning. There's the dock I was talking about, though. It's just not quite all there. But it worked as a good spot to anchor our boat. Oh, good morning, honey. Good morning. Okay, the fog just totally rolled in. You can still see land there. And then it starts disappearing. And that's all you get to see. no one else is going fast because we don't have a lot of time to see them and our boat doesn't move fast we don't have very far to go we're gonna try to stick somewhat close to shore but yeah fog still foggy sun's coming up though so hopefully it's gonna start burning this off just a beautiful morning a little cool not bad Couldn't even see land. That was a little freaky when all you see is fog. We haven't seen another boat though. And the fog is just starting to let up so we can see some stuff. So hopefully we'll be to uh, our next destination here in a bit. Maybe 20 minutes or so. Anyway, Stacy got coffee going. Mmm, it's good coffee. Breakfast going this morning, steak and eggs and steam. Mm, mm, warm breakfast. Mm. Boy, does that sound good. That looks great, baby. I'll clean out the pan. <laughs> Lake Superior to find Lake Superior Beach and <laughs> Google tells us we are here welcome to Lake Superior Beach we are on the other side of Lake Superior Beach slight swell coming Up there is Orion 
Beautiful. Beautiful day. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> That's where we sailed from, way on the other side there. Can't see the island we came from. There's Ben going to get some water or water bottles for us. The water is crystal clear. We could see 30 feet down. That's what the depth gauge said. Not too far off the shore is 900 feet deep. I'll take a picture if, if our depth finder can get that deep. So cool. Okay, we haven't seen the falls yet, but we can start to feel the breeze, hear the noise. So we're gonna check them out. Oh, oh, oh. They are so cool. Man. There they are. That is so cool. Okay, behind us is a suspension bridge. Can't wait, we're gonna go walk across it and it crosses over the falls. So here we go. Oh, it feels so weird. It literally is going up and down and it runs on that cable. The whole thing hangs on that cable. So cool. Checking out the falls. Well, we made it to two-step falls. The one just slightly down from High Falls, where we just were. Those are the stairs we went up, and we went way up. But behind us are the two step falls. I think we're gonna dip our head in the water because, well, we're pretty good and warm. Even though it's not that warm out today, we've done a lot of exercise, lots of stairs. Just really pretty. And that's the rest of the river looks like. Beautiful. We couldn't have picked a better day. No, it's good. It's beautiful. <laughs> Is that refreshing?
There are a lot of stairs. <laughs> well, she is calm and flat, and we are motoring. Which is not really what you want to do on a sailboat. At 411 feet, 4.2. Oh, yeah. We're at 400. Let's zoom in there. 411 feet. And falling. There's a puff of wind coming. We'll see if we can get the sails up. May or may not. Put on some clam chowder. It's so good. Got some lemonade and a roll to go with it. Yum yum. Mine was a little hot, so I'm gonna let mine rest and do a little bit of driving while Stacy does a little eating. Since she's been she's been at the helm. The wind is just starting to pick up just enough to feel a light, slight breeze, so probably when we're done eating we'll hoist the sails and hopefully be able to shut off the motor because that's annoying. Stacy dealing with Renan's. Yeah, that, that is very painful right now. It's completely like there's nothing in there. See how you, yeah, you yeah. know, you get the white, there's nothing. <clears throat> and this finger is white here. Mm. Yeah, warm up, baby. Here's some jumping jacks or something. <laughs> Okay, not sure if you can hear that. Oh, that's right. Our motor is off. See the waves rippling, pulling our little kayak. Oh yeah, waves are rippling. And you guessed it. We are sailing on a nice broad reach. I don't know if sailing gets much better than this, other than maybe just a little bit warmer. Sails are full. We are at a really nice broad reach. Downwind sailing is so nice. That is my lovely wife taking a nap. She doesn't think it's very warm out here. And I would have to agree, the wind coming from that direction off of the lake is a little chilly. Sunshine's nice though. Breezes are fairly steady. Eh. Puff every once in a while makes a seal over, but we're still only at about that 10 to 12 uh, heel degree and making about five and a half to six knots, which for this boat, pretty good. And uh, been kind of fun, got the sails fairly balanced, so it pretty much steers by itself. Other than a couple of these big swells that we get, then she just rocks us soft. We are loving the sailing. This weekend has been just awesome. Set up a little wind block. Sun decided to come out. Stacy's enjoying the easy sailing right here. We are at like a five to seven degree heel. Just gorgeous. We only have about four or five miles left, so be there in about an hour. It's been a nice trip though. There's where we left. Can't really see it other than a hill. I'm at to fire up the grill and make some pizza tonight. That sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, just awesome. And the boat pretty much steers itself. It needs a little tweaking every once in a while. 
We may or may not be on a collision course with that big guy. He's coming closer and closer. Going much faster than we are. We're currently cruising at about four knots. On our way to York Island. And we have now determined that we are not on a collision course with this big guy. Wish we had binoculars. One of the things we forgot in our hastiness. Stacy is at the wheel. Just wanted to kind of get a different perspective here. No sails going up. Just a little choppy. My pizza timer just went off. Ooh, it's looking good. I gotta check the bottom of that. Oh yeah. We're not looking too bad. We're gonna put that baby back on there. Give it a few more minutes. We got a stern anchor out to help us with the swell. Right now she is rolling. But hopefully this will calm down here in the next few minutes and we will enjoy our pizza. Well, eating grilled, grilled pizza. Mm, mm, mm. It's Yum. very good. Very, very, very good. good. I think I got a little sunburn today. Oh, well, it was definitely worth <clears> it. <throat> My face was covered with a hat and I didn't get any sunburn at all. I was fully covered up. I think I got a little red. Oh, well. You definitely got red. It was a blast sailing. <laughs> yes, it was. We had a great time. Good weather for it. The anchorage is starting to calm out just a little bit. We Which love York good. Island mm. and this little cove. Yep. So we're going to eat our pizza. Enjoy it. Beautiful anchorage. The winds coming very hard out of the northwest. There is our still had a great night's sleep sun's shining through some clouds there's a chance we're going to get a sprinkle on one of these clouds that one looks a little bit mean waking up to mornings like this never gets old it's so peaceful just that calm little rockabye baby motion going on with the waves oh there goes ben Oh, our anchor drag a little bit. Our stern anchor. All right, I want to get into my book here. Coastal Cruising Made Easy. These are the books we're going over for our ACA captain certification. I'm gonna go to the uh, um, VHF radio. for VHF radio guidelines. Oh, there it is. Didn't even have to look in the index. All right. Which is the way I roll. Try to figure things out myself. Hmm. What do you say on the radio? That's what I don't know. You know... When making radio calls, it's easy to stumble over the protocol mm -hmm. and even freeze for ask when asked simple information. Write down what you want to say. Orion, 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 this is Little Red. Copy. Copy that. I am on shore and can hear you loud and clear. How about you? Loud and clear. I don't know what to say. I'll be there in a few minutes. Over. Got it. Over. First time using our VHF radios. This is a massive tree. 
um, that apparently washed up onto the beach here at, on York Island. Ben's gonna stand by it to show you how big it is. Isn't that crazy? But as you look down the shoreline, there's a lot of trees. Look at this. I would say we've got a pretty good stiff five, six mile an hour breeze coming at us. So we might be able to sail back. 